Where were you when uh, this tackle took place? So, Dan, I was on the sideline near the end zone. And when the tackle took place, you mentioned it, the medical staffs for the two teams. That was what was most alarming to me was the urgency with what they hit the field. And, uh, you know, we often see injuries on the field, but you don't see this kind of urgency from medical staffs. The way they ran to DeMar, the way they ripped open the medical equipment, the way they started working on him immediately. From my vantage point, I could see them doing chest compressions. And at that point, that's when you started to see the teams gather around him and you started to lose your vantage point to that. But they also administered an AED. They shocked him twice on the field. You talked about the process the NFL has and having AEDs on the field there. And that was part of the process they used. But what was striking to me was the reaction from the players. And look, whenever we see someone with a head injury or a spinal injury in the NFL, and that's part of the game, we understand that. We wait for some kind of positivity from the player or the players around them, maybe a thumbs up. We're all waiting for that kind of moment. When you saw players turn away and, and cover their face with their jerseys or cover their face with their hands, you knew right then this was different and something we had never experienced before. Yeah, I'd mentioned that having been on the sidelines for a variety of things, I usually look at the players. The players will tell you if a player is seriously hurt. And that's when I knew that, you know, this was really, really serious.